Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bob and Marshmallow Studios for Two Pizzas, the documentary of Herculaneum, an abandoned city. Located in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, Herculaneum was an ancient Roman town destroyed by volcanic pyroclastic flows in the 79 AD. Its ruins are located in the commune of Ercolano, Campania, Italy. Ancient tradition connected Herculaneum with the name of the Greek hero Heracles, an indication that the city was of Greek origin. This is the city before, before Mount Vesuvius erupted. It is near an ocean. It is very near to Mount Vesuvius and very near to Pompeii. Before Mount Vesuvius erupted, the city was clean, tidy, and beautiful. Uh, before uh, Mount Vesuvius erupted, uh, the, city, the city has many blacksmiths, schools, houses, uh, restaurant, and many more. This land was found in 600 BC. The fact about this is when this when this city was first opened, this was the center of trading and selling in the whole Greece. People didn't know that Mount Vesuvius was still active because the last time it erupted is 800 years ago before it erupted again. There was a movie created named Pompeii about this tra tragedy. The city is near Mount Vesuvius and Bay of Naples. This is Mount Vesuvius. Mount that Arab that destroy the city, Pompeii and Herculaneum. So Mount Vesuvius is near Herculaneum, very near. So people thought that Mount Vesuvius is not active anymore because it haven't Arab at 800 years. And the victim is 20% of the population in Herculaneum, which is 3,000 people. The catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius occurred on the afternoon of 24 August 79 AD. Because Vesuvius had been dormant for approximately 800 years, it was no longer even recognized as a volcano. At around 1 p.m. on 24 August, Vesuvius began spewing volcanic ash and stone thousands of meters into the sky. When it reached the tropopos, the top of the cloud flattened, prompting Pliny to describe it to Tacitus as a stone pine tree. The prevailing winds at the time blew toward the southeast, causing the volcanic material to fall primarily on the city of Pompeii and the surrounding area. Since Herculaneum lay to the west of the Vesuvius, it was only mildly affected by the first phase of the eruption. While roofs in Pompeii collapsed under the weight of falling debris, only a few centimeters of ash fell on Her Herculaneum causing little damage but nonetheless prompting most inhabitants to flee. During the following night, the eruptive column, which had risen into the stratosphere, collapsed onto Vesuvius and its flanks. The first pyroclastic surge, formed by a mixture of ash and hot gases, below to the mostly evacuated town of Herculaneum at 160 km per hour. A succession of six flows and surges buried the city's buildings causing little damage in some areas and preserving structures, objects and victims almost intact. However, in other areas, there was significant damage knocking down walls, getting away columns, and other large objects. A marble statue of M. Donius Bulbus near the bus was blown 15 meters away, and a carbonized skeleton was found lifted 2.5 above the ground level in the garden of the house of the Telephus Relief. When the, when the Mount Vesuvius erupts, it hits the, Herculan the city Herculaneum first rather than the Pompeii because it was more near. Many people died, 20% of the people died in there and covered in dust so it was like broken. In 1981, excavation initially turned up more than 55, 55 skeletons on the beach and in the first six boat chambers because earlier excavation had revealed only a few skeletons. It was long through that nearly all 
of the inhabitants had managed to escape, but the surprising discovery led to a change of a few. The particular circumstances of the burial of Herculaneum, unlike those of Pompeii, led to the formation over the city of a compact mass of tufaceous material about 50 to 60 feet deep. Although this layer made excavation very difficult, it preserved Herculaneum and prevented tempering and looting. The special conditions of the ground humidity made possible the conservation of wooden frameworks of houses, wooden furniture, the hull of a sizable boat, pieces of cloth and food, carbonized loaves of bread left within ovens. Thus, Herculaneum offers a detailed impression of private life that is only with difficulty achieved in other centers of the ancient world. In 1709, the digging of a deep well revealed some exceptional statues at the lowest level, which was later found to be the site of the theater. The Prince de Elbeuf chased the land and proceeded to tunnel out from the bottom of the well, collecting any statues they could find. Among the earliest statues, the covered were the two superbly sculpted Herculaneum women now in the Dresden. This is the view of the of the city which has been destroyed with Mount Vesuvius on the back. Mount Vesuvius is still active today and no one knows when it will uh, when it will cause a catastrophe in the 21st century. Okay, so this is the buildings when it is already destroyed by the volcano. So now it's only like this. The before is really beautiful. Uh, this is the buildings right now. It already broke in a in a half part, but still the the foundation is still strong. Uh, uh, the buildings is like this because it covers it covered in dust and uh, because of rain, so the the part broke. I mean, the rock broke. The city is now the property of UNESCO Heritage Land. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is famous as one of the few ancient cities that can now be seen much of its original splendor, as well as for having been lost, along with, along with Pompeii, Stabiae, Atlantis, and Bascarel, in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the 79 AD that buried it, unlike Pompeii, the deep pyroclastic material which covered it preserved wooden and other organic-based objects such as roof, beds, and doors, wood, and even some 300 skeletons which were discovered in recent years along the seashore. It had been thought until then that the town had been evacuated by the inhabitants. Thank you for watching this video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.